So right here, I have the three kitchens, and each one is different and has a different style. And I'm going to show you how to make a kitchen in that type of style. Now right here, I have a modern kitchen, and this is its, like, a reference photo kind of thing. This is what I got the inspiration of this from. Just, as you can see, I have a lot of tools here. And I, I think a kitchen in Minecraft is where you put all your tools and stuff. And that's what you kind of do with it, because you don't really prepare food in Minecraft. So I, I think it's where you put your furnaces and your blast furnaces and your s smokers and your crafting tables and stuff like that. That's what I really think a kitchen is in Minecraft. But right here, I have this. It's just this potted plant to give it a bit of more color and just to give it a bit of decoration. And I have that. I have just a cauldron with a tripwire hook over it to make it look like a faucet. And I also have these shulkers up top as storage. And I do this because chests and barrels don't really look modern, but I think that shulkers are the best thing. I think they're the most modern looking thing. So that's what I chose. And they're gray, which kind of fits in with the tone of whites and blues and grays. That's kind of what the thing is going with. But as you can see, I put the trap doors and they are on the sides. And I also have this iron door. As you can see, I'm going to get rid of that tree. But as you can see, I have an iron door right there. And that's supposed to be just like a refrigerator. It's not, it does not serve any real purpose just for decoration, just to be there. And as you can see, there's also this table. And it's just glass and carpet. And I think it's really nice. It's very modern and unique. And that's what I, that's just like a bunch of tips and tricks and just reasons why certain things are there in a kitchen in Minecraft. And you may also notice this painting up here. I thought that it looks a little, the space looked a little empty, and I think that a painting would fit there just fine, and I think that in a real modern house someone might put a painting there too, so it just kind of looks nice. And this is the overall of this modern kitchen right here. Now, the next one, this is the reference picture, and as you can see it's kind of just a wooden cabin type of a thing. Now, it's the same type of setup in this corner except it's all wooden with candles because I think that fits in better. You can also do lanterns. Those also kind of look nice. And instead of shulkers up on top, we have barrels because it fits with the spruce kind of walling and the table. But that is why I have all that. And basically I just switched this main part around just with the spruce logs. Now the difference is are not that much. As you can see this whole wall right there is pretty same, but the table and the other part of the wall are different. Now the table I used fences with you know just regular trap doors, although you could do carpets like this. I think that it looks nice. And for some reason, I understand this, that fences, you can't jump over them, but when you make it taller with a trap door, you can actually get on the table. Which is really weird. The only reason I got on, like, look, I don't understand this mechanic at all, but I suppose it makes kind of sense. Not really. I don't know. But I also have this thing on the wall with... As you can see, scaffolding just kind of looks like a shelving unit type of a thing. And I have a blackstone button as like a cool pebble and a flower pot. You know, just, just decoration. They don't really serve a specific purpose or have a, a very unique thing. They're just there to make the room a little nicer, make it feel more alive, that type of thing. And you kind of need that with this nice cabin in the woods type of a kitchen which is where you usually use this. I would imagine this be using in like a cabin in the woods or something really like that. And that's where I think this would be used mostly. Then now the next one I have 
it's not really a kitchen. It kind of is. It's like a, it's like a, a dwarven forge. That's what I kind of think it is. Now, as I said, kitchens are where you keep all of your tools and what you use to make things, like your crafting table and all that. But I switched some stuff out and gave the smithing table a place here. And as you can see, I also put a, a few anvils because this is a type of a kind of like a kitchen. It's more of a forge, that type of thing. And as you can see, I put a bunch of anvils everywhere. And this is probably the most expensive because you're going to need a lot of iron with all of these anvils and all these trapdoors, which is a lot. But if you have a bunch of iron, then it looks really nice. And you can just have backup anvils if you use a bunch of anvils all the time. But that's this this type of a kitchen. It's not really a kitchen, as I said. Now right here as a table, I instead have a few anvils and a cauldron of lava. Kind of as a forge. And I think this is where you would like make tools. I imagine this is where people would make swords and stuff like that. That's what I think this is. Where you keep all your tools and make your armor and swords. And this is this is what I say instead of a table. Now instead of a refrigerator or a kind of a other thing, scaffolding type of a shelf, I have this fireplace. And what it is, it's just a regular fireplace, except I have this big smoke chimney. And it goes up using just a fence or a wall and... Then it just kind of goes into this really nice smoke pattern, which I just used with white stained glass, gray stained glass, dark gray stained glass, and black stained glass, or dark stained glass. And it really makes this nice, tr just a uh, transition-y type of a thing. It looks really nice if you just sprinkle all these glasses together. It makes this really nice pattern, and it looks kind of, it looks really nice for this this forge of fire and flame and lava it just makes it looks it looks very nice and in place in this kitchen but as you say i'm just going to run through them we had the modern one the cabin one and the forge one those are the main types of kitchens that i could find there are a lot more these are just a few of the main ones that you can make in minecraft for a kitchen design.